Amanda Haupt. I'm a research associate here at the Allen Institute for Cell Science, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the cell catalog on the Allen Cell Explorer. So first of all, you're going to navigate to allencell.org. You're going to come over here to Cells and click on Cell Catalog. Once you're here, you can see a list of all of the cell lines that we've made so far. You can look at the gene name, the structure, and find out what fluorescent tag we've used and whether we've tagged at one or two alleles. To find out more information about one of the individual cell lines, give it a click. The first thing you're gonna notice are these beautiful Z stacks that show you what the cells look like under the fluorescent microscope. You can also come over here to get information about the cell line, and also there's a link for if you'd like to obtain the cells. You can also find our donor plasmids available at AdGene. At the bottom, you're going to get more information about our editing design. Again, we're using CRISPR-Cas9 to generate these cell lines, so we'll show you where in the gene we've tagged, and also the CRISPR RNA sequence that we use to generate this cell line. Under the Genomic Characterization tab, we'll give you more information about how we've determined that the tags are in the proper location of the genome. And under Cellular Validation, show you the Western blot and the immunofluorescence data that we've used to verify that the proteins are working correctly. For more information about all of our quality control, you can come up here to Research Updates and Publications, and that's gonna give you more information there. Under Stem Cell Characteristics, we're working with stem cells, and we're interested in making sure that they're still behaving as stem cells. So we've looked at different uh, stem cell markers. You can see the data here. We've also made sure that these cells are maintaining their pluripotency state and are able to differentiate into the three germ layers. We've gone one step farther and actually differentiated these cells into cardiomyocytes. Additionally, some of these cell lines will have deep sequencing data, and as we're generating data, more will be added to the website. I should also mention that if you click on the Protocols tab, you'll find downloadable standard operating procedures. These SOPs can help you successfully grow the cells in your own lab. Thanks for watching. We're always adding new tutorials about how to use the Allen Cell Explorer, so keep checking back.